Hey folks, welcome back. Today is a good day. And it's a good day because we are gonna be brewing some beer. We are gonna actually be brewing a porter that is going to come from this kit that I got from Northern Brewer. It's a bourbon barrel porter. This kit is actually an extract kit. It's, so it's more of like the relaxed person's way of getting into brewing. You don't have to go through all the steeping of different grains and you know coming up with the mash and, and converting the, the grains into sugar. That's already done for us with these extracts. So let's get brewing. So this is it. These are the ingredients to this uh, Porter beer kit. We do actually have a fairly large bag of grains these grains are gonna be used to sort of make a tea, a beer tea, I guess you would call it. It's gonna impart different colors and some different flavors to the final product. As far as different malts, we have two different times. We have a dry malt extract, which is used to really put the sugars in it so that we can convert this to alcohol. And we also have a couple jugs of dark malt extract syrup. For our hops, we have U.S. Goldings, and we also have some Chinook hops. These are probably going to be going in at different times during the brewing process. Now, to make this actually into a beer, we have to convert these sugars to alcohol, and we do that by adding yeast to it. So we'll be adding yeast later on today. A few weeks down the road, when this beer has finished fermenting, we are going to add some oak cubes that have been soaked in a bourbon of your choice. We'll have to pick a bourbon out. That might be kind of fun. So we'll add these oak cubes that are infused with all sorts of bourbon flavors right back into the fermenter. And that's going to give us some really nice taste in the final beer. What we are going to do is take these grains, so you can see they're nice dark, dark, dark grains, and we are going to be putting them in a mesh bag so that we can make a tea. We are at 170 degrees, so let's go ahead and take, take our bag of grains and just plop them right in there. Every once in a while, I'll come back and give it a little stir and bop it up and down to make sure we get as much flavor and color out of these grains as we can. So I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes and let this thing cook for a while. And there we are. It's 20 minutes later. So what we have to do at this point is fish this tea bag of grains out of here. Let's try not to burn ourselves. Might be easier said than done. There we go. We're going to fish this out and put it on this owl colander to help a little bit with extracting as much flavor out of here as we can. I usually take some hot water and just pour it over this bag here and help it rinse off as much of that flavor as, as possible. All right, this has turned out really good. Nice dark liquid. I tasted it, it's very roasty. It's gonna be good in this porter. Now we need to get this up to a boil and then we'll be starting to add our liquid and dry malt extracts along with our hops. All right, as you can see, we are at a boil. So what I'm gonna do at this point is actually turn off my burner and move this over slightly to take it off the burner. We don't want it to be boiling very hard or at all when we add our dry malt extract. This is a, a, actually a wheat dried malt extract. And what an extract is, is really just a a wart that has been dehydrated so all the sugars that would normally be created when they're making a beer wart basically are in this bag here 
So in order to use extract, we have to rehydrate it. This dry stuff is fun to use, but you got to be careful and not let it burn on the bottom of, of the kettle here because you're going to have a mess. So we're going to add both of our bag, bags of Brees Bavarian Wheat Dried Malt Extract and then we're going to add some hops. Okay, it's, it's back up to a boil now, so it's, it's time to add our first addition of hops. These are Chinook hops. We'll take an ounce of them. I always like to smell these hops before I put them in. And I gotta tell you, any day's a good day when you can smell hops. So let's add these to this boiling wart here. I ah, don't wanna lose that one. And we'll be back in 45 minutes for our second edition of extract and some more hops. This is, this is smelling good. Alright, this has been boiling for 45 minutes. There's about 15 minutes left in the boil. So at this point we're going to add our dark malt extract syrup. We want to make sure that we keep stirring this as we pour it in. <clears throat> Otherwise it'll sink to the bottom and, and burn down there. So keep it moving as you're pouring it in. And also at this point, we're gonna add our U.S. Golding's hops. This is done later on in the boil to add a little more aroma to the, to the beer. We're gonna let this go for another 15 minutes and we'll be cooling it down at that point. Okay, now I am cooling this wart off trying to get it to a temperature where I can put the yeast into it. So I added my, my cooling coil that I have basically running cold water through it and it's emptying out into my sink. So basically this is a big radiator I have added to my, <laughs> my kettle here that is basically transferring the heat from this wart liquid through the radiator water and then putting it down the sink. So it's pretty hot yet. I have to get this down to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I've sanitized my fermentation bucket, its lid, and also the strainer I'll be using to strain any of the thick solids out of the out of the wart. Okay, it's now time to transfer this wart into the fermentation bucket. Okay, what we need to do now is add filtered water to this fermentation bucket to bring it up to five gallons. All right, I just took the temperature of that. It's up to five gallons now, and it's at 73 degrees, which is pretty much a right on temperature for pitching this yeast. So let's go ahead and pour that in there. And now it is beer. It's just gonna take about two weeks for it to ferment, and then we have a few other steps to do after that. I'll tell you all about that shortly. This bourbon barrel porter kit I got from Northern Brewer takes about two months to complete. After this thing starts fermenting in the next day or two, it'll probably finish fermenting in about two weeks. At that point, we're gonna wait a week or two, and then we're gonna add our bourbon soaked oak chips to it. We'll let that mellow in there for a few weeks, and at that point, we'll be ready to bottle it. So, we got a ways to wait before we can drink this. Well, we definitely have an active fermentation going. So active, in fact, I needed to put a blow-off tube onto my fermentation bucket to 
handle the excessive amount of CO2 coming out. This is a great sign. So I'm in a typical Wisconsin grocery store liquor department. Got a ton of bourbons here. The beer has now been fermenting and conditioning for about three weeks. So it is time to get these wood cubes. These are oak wood cubes that have been charred. It's time to get these soaking in a glass here with some bourbon. I'm gonna put that in a glass and let's get some bourbon in there. The purpose of soaking these oak cubes in the bourbon is to simulate that bourbon barrel aged flavor a lot of beers have. So that's what we're doing here. We're going to let these soak for a couple days and then add them to our beer for, for a couple weeks and then we'll bottle the beer. The oak chips have been soaking in this bourbon for about three days now. So it is time to actually add it to the beer. Now we'll give that another two or three weeks and it'll be time to bottle it. Okay, the beer has been fermenting now for quite a while. It's actually been sitting on those oak cubes for about three weeks. It's time to bottle this beer. I think I bottled this beer just in time. We have snow coming down, the first snowfall of the year. In two or three weeks, this is gonna be ready to drink. Looking forward to it. Welcome back. It's been two weeks now since we bottled this. So I'm thinking it's time to give this a taste. been exactly two months since we started brewing this beer and we are currently at my favorite phase of brewing beer and that's giving it a try. The color of this is just just so dark brown it's it's beautiful. Let's give it a smell. First thing I get is that sweet bourbon aroma not overpowering. Time for a taste. Cheers. Another winner. It's not overpowering with the bourbon bourbon flavor at all and, and the oak cubes we added, just a hint of wood there, but the thing I'm really getting is that nice bittersweet roasted porter flavor. Perfect for a winter beer. I made five gallons of this, so I'll have plenty to, to have over the winter months and plenty to share. So if you're in the area, stop on by and have one on me. I'd like to thank you for taking this adventure with me brewing this bourbon barrel porter. I think it turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching. See you next time.